that. Now we want you to stay tuned with us to News Channel 6 just after this commercial break with more of your calls and questions. Good conversation during the commercial break. And we're talking about the difference between wrong and disagreeing on opinions and points, and that's kind of what it breaks down to. Um, did anyone else have any other questions? Because you said you wanted to continue this. <laughs> we're going to give Brandon an opportunity as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I, I just want to say I'm, I really am enjoying this, you know. And, uh, but I, <clears throat> I couldn't help but, you know, to think about what you said about, you know, uh, when they addressed God in spirit, they <coughs> addressed it with big S. Mm -hmm. And any time they was talking about our spirit, it was a little S. No, that's not what I said. Oh, okay. I just said in that particular passage, that, it that. is a little S, and we have to determine okay. Okay. by using the rest of the Bible. I, I would not. I would hope you wouldn't allow me just to turn to John 4:24 and say, you know, that is the Holy Spirit. Because I couldn't prove that. And I would not allow someone else to do that without telling me, how is it that you came to that conclusion? Mm -hmm. So basically the conclusion would be, how, how did you come to that conclusion? And, 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 and you know, to, to just agree with you on that point, okay, okay I'll agree. Okay. But, but when I read here in John, uh, John 4, verse 24, it starts out saying, God is a spirit, right. yes. Right. Then it says, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit, little s, right. in truth. And then uh, when I come over here in Romans 8, um, verse, let's see, where was I at? Don't laugh. Okay, verse 8, I mean, sorry, uh, Romans 8, verse 14, it says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, big S, they are the sons of God. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, oh, okay, and then you come down here in verse 16, it says the Spirit itself, the Spirit itself, big S, mm -hmm. beareth witness with our spirit, little s, that we are the children of God. So how will we know that we're children of God without big S in me? Well, let me ask you this. How would you even know that there was a spirit unless first you read it from this word? And I did read it. I know you did. That's, that's how you know. And, and that's how... Okay, we're going to do this again. Answer his question, then right. he'll answer your question. Now, I'm going to answer you your answer. question. How, now watch how, this. How does the Spirit... When you say that you're led by the Spirit and you determine that that is the Holy Spirit, then I turn around and read from John 6, 63, which Jesus said, it is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and life. The way you're led by the Spirit, according to Jesus, is His words are spirit. Amen. That's how I'm led. And, and, and persons, uh, I say one of the big problems that we have in the religious world is, and I'm not saying you, I'm saying, I'm saying in, in, in religion, more people put emphasis on the Holy Spirit than they do the Word. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why we're having as much trouble as we're having. If they get in and the I Word... Agree I agree with that totally. Um, but uh, in verse 16 again, the Spirit itself, the, the Holy Spirit, this is big S. Okay beareth witness with our spirit, little s, right. that we are the children of God. Now my question would be how? Because it doesn't say there. You're going to have to tell me how the Holy Spirit bears witness with you, and then I'm going to give you what the Bible says, how it does it. Okay. Well, which we, which well, one first? Thing, uh, in, the, in the scriptures, it, it talks about the fruits of the Spirit, and the fruits of the Spirit. <laughs> And then, I mean, you know, if we're talking about a little less, then certainly I can't have love, joy, peace, long-suffering, all these things in my own spirit. Otherwise, the Holy, Sp Holy Spirit wouldn't have had to come. Well, what if I show you a verse that says that's the fruit of the Word? And fruit I can't. That's right. Okay, I'm, now, now listen, I'm, I'm sure you can, but the fruit of the Spirit. spirit. Now, when we're talking about a little less, you know, I understand what you're saying about that Spirit, you know, and, and the, uh, the Word of God. But you have to... Uh, read where it says the spirit itself bears bears witness the the big s the spirit itself okay. bears witness with our spirit not talking about the word now talking who about says? the who says? spirit of god i can demonstrate that in fact the word bears witness the spirit bears witness through the word i can demonstrate that the new testament says that is exactly how that the spirit bears witness all, and, all and you, you have what, and, and you know what just from what you said there it's it's kind of like we're agreeing but yet disagreeing because i, I I believe in the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. 
and and I agree with you, and 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 you're you're agreeing with me actually. No, I'm not. But what you're saying is <laughs> no. But see, <laughs> because what I'm saying is we. This is where I say you're going to have to agree to disagree. <laughs> we both understand that the word of spirit. Jesus said, "The words that I speak right. are spirit, right, and they are true." Well, let me read the verse that says, "How the Holy Spirit bears witness with your spirit." Now, what you would have to do in turn to prove your point is to show me how that the Holy Spirit, where you can read, the Holy Spirit witnesses in another kind of way. I'm going to show you where the Bible says that it witnesses through the Word. Same exact phrase. This is Hebrews chapter 10. When the Apostle Paul was trying to convince these Jews that in fact the Old Testament was telling them that they ought to receive the New Covenant, he says in Hebrews 10, 15, whereof the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. How, Paul? For after that he said before, and then he quotes Jeremiah 31, 31. The Spirit witnessed through Jeremiah 31, 31. That's how the Spirit of God witnesses to me that I'm a son of God. I don't have a feeling. I didn't get any kind of message or whatever. I simply did what the Spirit said in Acts 2, 38. I repented and I was baptized for the mission of my sins. And that's the Spirit's word and that's my witness that I am a son of God. When you read the word of God. When I read what I've done. Right. that the Word of God says to do. This is the Spirit. This is His message. Right. This is His witness. Nobody denies if that. If that's the Spirit, why is that called Spirit and Truth? I because we recognize... Oh, you don't recognize the Bible as... We, we, you and I do recognize the Bible as the truth. That's Am right. I right? That's right. Okay, so if the Bible says in John, those who worship Him must worship Him in Spirit and in truth, why would it reiterate itself? Spirit? You see what I'm saying? If no, that is the Spirit and that not. is the truth, why would it say it twice? Well, let My me question. clarify what I said. You're saying Spirit as in our own that's right. will. And I, can, I think... A, an account of that would be Romans 2. Listen to this. He said, For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision of that of the heart in the spirit. How can you be circumcised in your spirit? That's your attitude. And, and so that's what we're saying that John 4, 24 is talking about, is when you worship God in spirit, it's your attitude. And the Jews had a tremendous problem with this. On the outside, they were, they were whited sepulchers. Inside, dead men's bones. And so we're saying when he says, worship me in spirit, he's telling these Jewish peoples, listen, you've had this horrendous problem of being outward. Everything's physical with y'all. You got your phylacteries, you got your uh, uh, fringes. It's all been from the mouth out. You draw nigh to me with your heart, or with your mouth, but your heart's far from me. I think that's Jesus' message. He wants us, he wants church people to give their spirit and do it according to the truth. And so that's what we're saying. And, and you're saying that the fruit of this spirit, this right. word, the Bible says, so you're saying that the fruit of the spirit, talking about this word, it says the fruit of the spirit of this word is love, right. joy, right. peace. All these, all these to me now demonstrates uh, or, or signifying feeling, love, joy, peace. All these are. are is are, love always a feeling though? I mean, you but, can love your enemy. So is that a is that a is that a feeling? Well, or I'm saying I'm, I'm asking you. Okay. Like okay, joy. Yeah. I mean, if you don't want to. Well, talk when about I love, said feeling know. a while ago, I was talking about my conversion, mm -hmm. not not my Christian life. Right. So I want to clarify that. A while ago, when I said I when I determine how I know I'm a son of God, mm -hmm. it's not based on a feeling. It's the witness of the Spirit's words, mm -hmm. and my spirit knowing that I've done what the Spirit said to do. Now, when it comes to my Christian life, sure. I have feelings, I have joy, I have love, I have uh, unhappiness, you know, and things of that nature. But, you know, that, those are two different topics. I was talking about my conversion being based on a feeling. Sometimes we don't clarify. We're, we're like picking at what some people say because everybody in the community basically says, I know I'm a child of God because of the way I feel. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, feeling is only twice in the whole New Testament, and it never has anything to do with your conversion. Mm -hmm. So that's why, we're, that's why I said that. I understand. Uh, I, I, and, and I'm not trying to debate. I want the public to know. I'm not right. trying to debate. I want to get to the bottom of, you know, how you tick. I yeah, that's what, what, that's what we're tick. actually, that's what a discussion would be. <laughs> well, I need to say this, too. Uh, you and I had a disagreement of sorts when I first came on board up here. And, in, and what I did was I went to you and talked to you about it. I came to your office. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, it's the only one we've had, Johnny. Yeah. You're looking confused. <laughs> no, well, actually, we had, a, we had a discussion with Charles on the air, but you weren't actually there. Okay. It was over something that you had said about women preachers. And right. And I responded, and Charles and I got, had a, another discussion. So I thought maybe that's what you were talking to. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm talking about our, our, our disagreement yeah. on, on my position here. Yeah. And so what I did was I went and talked to you about right. it. And we were able to do that without yelling or, or getting into kind of physical altercation. Um, and, I, and it really, I, I think that that 
that's it, what people need to do is they need to be calm and reason. Even the Bible says, come, let us reason together. You know, let's talk about this thing. And even if we, it, in the end, never agree, which, you know, which most of us in the community have determined we might never agree with some of the, the feelings and, and, the, and the beliefs that you have and the interpretation of the scripture that you have. We can still reason one another. We can still come to an, an opportunity where we can talk, and that's what we're trying to do here. You know, well, one of the last opportunities that we might have had with I you. I hope that your husband is demonstrating to the community and to the other preachers that it is possible for us to sit down and have a discussion, and the community will be the beneficiary. It's just like a non-denominational preacher, Donald Powell, said about our... Uh, Martinsville Bulletin gave us 75 articles, you know, uh, editorial. In the end, he said the community is reading their Bible more, and he said we're asking questions, and we know more why each other is in the denomination that it's in. That's good. First off, I'd like to commend you for actually having a discussion. I mean, that's uh, something a lot of people aren't willing to do, uh, no, no matter who it's discussing with, whether it's one of these guys or just anybody. Uh, people aren't really willing to discuss religion when they disagree 